What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another My name is Jeff. React. And welcome back to Dylan Day. For those of you that don't know, I do Dylan Day and Alex Day on Fridays and Saturdays. Dylan Day is my Dylan's my cousin. He's been like my brother since we were kids. He's been there through it all, really, and helped me a lot with my YouTube videos. And Alex is another brother of mine. I mean, Dylan's my cousin's out. Alex is, you know, been an online friend for years, but he's easily considered family he's my brother and i do alex day and dylan day to say thank you to both of them because they've largely helped so so much with my youtube stuff and thank you guys dylan this day is for you obviously you asked me to do falling in reverse losing in my losing my life <clears throat> i almost said losing in my life because i was thinking of falling in reverse my brain mixed the words i haven't done falling in reverse in a while and i've been waiting to like Oddly enough, that's been in the back of my mind to do another Falling in Reverse song, so kind of funny that you asked me to do that, but anyways, I hope you guys are having a good day today, and if not, I hope I can bring some sort of positive light to it, because guys, whatever's going on for you, whatever it may be, just remember that you are not alone, you are never alone, you're a warrior, you're a soldier, stay strong, I believe in you, and if you need it, the comments are there for an event, or you can DM me personally on my socials, but you do got this. Bro fist, high five. You got this, guys. I know it's easier to send them, but you do got this. Try to stay with me. Now, if I'm going to transition and check into the song, please check the links in my description. You will not regret it. Also, phone holders. Bing. Message me on my socials if you're interested in those. Very fancy little keyboard. Oh, I like how they're doing the typing across the... Wow. That's cool. I want to figure out how to do that stuff. Pro. Do I know you? Yes, you do. This seems so familiar. You're in a dream. Who are you? I am your reflection. I was going to pause before the course, but I couldn't tell when it was actually starting and I didn't want to irritate anybody by pit by pausing at the wrong time. So I get that the song is called Losing My Life, but he's talking so fast, I literally have no idea what he's saying. I mean, I respect it. If you can rap like that, respect. I'm not generally into rap. I don't know exactly what his specific genre is, but regardless, I gotta respect it. If you can do that, awesome. The fact that he's and the fact that he's not even doing it to rap music specifically, like they're, they're still keeping the heavy rock rhythm, you know, they're keeping that classic like 2000s rock uh, vibe alive, like sweet, he's rapping to rock music. That's actually awesome. Cause I remember the last Falling Universe song I did, he rapped and it was to rap music and I couldn't keep up with it. And uh, honestly, I just thought it was extremely bizarre and I got hate for that. But it is what it is. Like you have, everybody's got their own taste. I mean, generally speaking, I like their sound. I just remember being really, because it was uh, 
popular monster, I think, yeah. Generally speaking, that song was good, just the rap parts got me. This time it's not so bad, because he's actually rapping to like, rock, I don't know, this this flow was good, I like this. And very interesting how it started off with him in the ring, and like talking to some dude. I don't even know what specifically what that meant, but we'll get to that soon enough. Of course, I always look up the meaning after I react. I don't, I don't just watch the video and go, well, what was that? I will look it up, but I'm definitely kind of like, I like the music, I like the style of the music video, how they went from outside to inside what looked, I don't even want to say that was a warehouse. That looked like it was some cool like stadium-like place. Not that they were actually in an arena, but like backstage maybe to a stadium or something, like some fancy green room, I don't know. I like the style of this music video and the song itself. I don't know what he's singing about exactly just yet. through time what in the name <laughs> somehow when I heard her say dad I was like wait a minute so that girl's his daughter but she's older all of a sudden like two minutes ago she was young and sitting in a pink room like playing with dollies and now saying like she was a little girl and now she's older she's what 16 or something like what? I I'm getting like the lyrics every now and then he's just basically talking about killing himself but he's in this lab like they're letting him experiment on his brain and that last part where he's basically and just in that really quiet room screaming at himself I, I don't know how to explain what that room was but he was basically in a room just to like, the, the blonde version of him and the dark brown, dark brown version of him like there's two different versions of him screaming at each other they did go to the rap like they went to the rap and the rap music interesting but anyways I'm so confused. I'm absolutely confused. I, I'm definitely going to assume this song is about mental health, but I have to dive into it more after, like, I'm lost. And I like the music. I like, I generally would say that I like the song, but I'm lost on where we're at with the story.
Well then. I really was not expecting that ending. I was literally ready to take the headphones off and I'm like, something's telling me there's more, but I'm not sure. And then sure enough, that came in. Okay, let's look up the song, cause I'm gonna just, so skit, I guess the lyrics say skit. Do I know you? Yes, you do. This seems so familiar. You're in a dream. Who are you? I'm your reflection. You've been asleep for a very long time. I lie awake every night. Looking back on my life, well, apologies to the people I love for the things I've done really make it right. I guess it might just then I realized my past is the reason I'm here right now. As a matter of fact, I won't apologize. You bees always peed because I am constantly changing, thinking of how far that I've made it from my incarceration. It's amazing, ain't it? But I'm in the zone. I'm a rolling stone. I'm coming home. I'm not alone. Do I really got to let another mother know? No, I won't surrender. Surrender. No, I won't let you bring me down so where the hell do I go from here why do I believe when everyone feels so insincere like everyone's out to get me who will save my life how do I believe in anyone please don't mind me I just kill myself sometimes and then back to the skit with his daughter uh daddy yes honey did you go to jail uh I that, that part was kind of <laughs> I'm a lot smarter than you think. Everything I did was planned to get you to listen, to get your attention. So you post your opinion and it gets me bigger. Are you triggered? Ha, figures. Here's the kicker with every trigger. I'm getting richer, offended by better, offended, bitter little Twitter bees all coming up in my mentions, looking for attention because they've because they're starved of it. You want to call me king in the music scene? I got news for you. I'm the god. Of it. Oh boy, look. Like the second coming, I respond like I ha like I have a reset button. Hated more than hated more than Trump is. Dang. Ronnie Radke's back to tr back to rapping, acting ratchet. Release the crack and delete your asses. I'm not the rapture. I'm the mother effing morning after. I need a miracle. I'm falling way too fast. I'm sinking in too deep. I need an angel now that's watching over me. If I could just wake up. If I can make you see I'm all alone, all alone with your sickness in me. And then that chorus where she's, or that other skit where he wakes up in the future. Okay, I'm going to look at the meaning. Straight meaning. Give me a second to collect myself here. Losing my life is the continuation of where losing my mind ended. Okay, so I did, I saw losing my mind. I saw losing my mind in the suggestions next to the video. Somehow I thought they were connected. I wasn't sure if, it, if losing my life was part two after that or if this is part two to that. If you guys want me to react to losing my mind, I would. But basically it says it's the Dick and Mitty's and ironic parallels between self-reflection and the self-destructive nature that we as humans face on a daily basis in modern times. And that's literally what Google says first and foremost, and there's literally nothing else. So basically about mental health. Yes, I mean, not necessarily saying that you are going to take that way out, so to speak, but that you've thought about it, you know, like just in these crazy wild times, regardless of where you are on the spectrum, times are wild, times are absolutely crazy, and everybody everywhere is losing their minds and it's just true like it's absolutely true everybody's losing their minds everybody's dealing with something whether it's physically mentally work relationships their own mental mindset anything and everything times are just crazy and everybody's trying to keep it together in their own way and it's just hard and this is basically just saying battling your demons i really don't get the time travel portion and where his daughter's older and he's talking about being gone by 2033 like I don't understand that and the reference to Trump I can't speak much on that stuff especially when he calls himself a god like I can't speak much on that like, I didn't even really like when Eminem called himself a god because he's so good at rap like you're good at something but don't say that like, it's a good song it's generally a good song I, I mean Generally speaking, I like it for talking about mental health. Like I like anybody that's willing to speak on mental health regardless of what side you're on, if you will. Politically, yes, I'm talking politically. Regardless of what side you're on, it's always good to bring up mental health as, you know, because 
that's a serious subject right now, especially over the last few years with everything that's happened. Like that's a serious subject to talk about and so many people don't really want to go there because at the end of the day you end up in the conversation that nobody wants to talk about and it gets very divisive. I won't even say anything myself. I'm just not gonna I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna go down that road. I'll just say it was a good song. I liked it. Ronnie is a very good artist. I will say that he's definitely the dude is multi-talented. He can rap, he can sing, he can scream. The music itself is really good. Generally speaking, I'm not into rap. Like I'm just but that's it's not my taste. I like rock music and country music, but if you got something really good to say, I'm gonna listen to the rap. Like I listen to Tom McDonald and Adam Calhoun for Beat's sakes. Like if you got something good to say, I will listen. And all things considered, was I a huge fan of the rap part? No, but he, again, he's talking about mental health and that's something everybody needs to talk about. So I do have a massive amount of respect for that. And again, the dude, it's hard to argue that he's talented. So there is that. I'm not trying to be arrogant. I'm just expressing my opinion. Like. I don't hate the dude, I don't have any ill will towards him, I'm just generally saying my taste, but I still respect him, if that makes any sense. I'm gonna shut up from there. You guys in the comments, you let me know what you think. Dylan, thank you so much, bro, as always. I got you, man. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and as always, remember, my name is Jeff. Path Junkies Unite, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, as always. Love, peace, and chicken grease. You guys have a fantastic day and a fantastic night, and Happy Good Friday, guys. It's Easter this weekend. God bless.